Okay, you guys, so remember in my video on the Solstice palette when I said if you liked my lip color to stay tuned so you could find out where I got it. Well, today I'm telling you where I got it. <clears throat> so there has been a lot of controversy with this subscription. It is the Kiss Me by Live Glam subscription. This is the December monthly box. And it comes with three matte lips this month. And, well, we're going to talk about the lips first, and then we're going to talk about the drama, and I'm going to tell you my take on all of this. So, we have got this month's three colors. They're all very um, kind of neutral, nothing real crazy. You have a really light nude, a mauve color and a really dark color which is what I have on right now so this is as dark as it gets and in my opinion this is the closest to a crazy color that came this month now I adore <clears throat> I adore these formulas they're amazing every month that I do get it which is not every month sometimes I do skip but the months I do get it like these are always super good quality I have yet to get a month where like I just hated them I have gotten a month that was all bright colors so it's not stuff I'm gonna wear often but other than that, these are amazing, amazing products. Adore them. Now, for the drama, a lot of people have been having issues with Live Glam more towards the area of the Morphe Me brushes that they also have, and they also have nail polish. And some people have had issues with, like, credit card fraud and all that kind of stuff. Now, if you've had an issue, I do not at all doubt that is super possible. Anytime you share your debit card info or your credit card info, that can happen now I've been with the subscription off and on for about six months I think I haven't had an issue yet uh, once I found out that was happening I started watching it super close to make sure nothing happens now ask the question Flo why not just cancel it if you know that they could jeopardize your card okay well <laughs> it appears that most people have that issue immediately after they cancel or about half the people who have said like in the groups I'm in that happened right after they canceled so I'm wondering if somehow like that is linked which is really messed up and I hope it's not because that's a terrible way to keep people subscribed terrible but I'm watching it really close um, monitoring my bank account on my phone like everyone should do if you have a bank account credit card whatever they all have an app almost all have an app. I know some of the small town banks don't. But most banks have an app. You can stick it on your phone, pop it up, and make sure that nobody is getting into your account because it can happen. I had my card jeopardized a long time ago at Target. Target! Who doesn't shop at Target? Okay, I know a lot of people don't now, but like back then, everybody did. So it's possible to happen from anywhere. I've been watching it super close. The company said they're looking into it. Who knows? There's all kinds of views on this. But that is not the point. I just wanted to mention it because, you know, the elephant in the room, you have to. But the point of this is these swatches. I'm not going to come back and talk to you all after these swatches. Um, but I'm about to show you all three, lightest to darkest, and how gorgeous they are. They all went on super easy. They are all gorgeous. These colors make me so happy. Y'all have no idea. But that is it for, well, I say that's it. The only other thing I want to say is if Live Glam watches this, can we keep this packaging for all your lippies? Like, I know this is the holiday packaging, but this speaks to me. If your lippies all had this glitter on top, like, I might buy them or keep getting them. Just because this is so stinking cute. I love it. And I picked up my color. This is Naples, by the way. I'm going to tell you all on voiceover what color is which. But that first color is Naples. And it is gorgeous. They're all named after towns in uh, Europe. I think they might. Two of them are named after towns in Italy. And one is a town in Spain which I think is super cool. I love Europe and I love Italy. I've actually been to this color's town. You'll see which one it is in a second. But uh, yeah, that is it for my rambling. 
If y'all are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe, and we will go ahead and get right into those swatches. Okay, guys, so color number one is Venice, and this is the town I've been to, and it is debatably my favorite color. As you can see, it applies super easy. Just one coat, very opaque, very nice. Uh, this is just a really light, kind of pinky nude. Very good for everyday wear. Now here's where we start my dumb model faces. But I do think, like, I think I could be a lipstick model. Like, my teeth are pretty. I think I could do it. So then we have Madrid. This is our town in Spain. Uh, this is a little bit deeper. Uh, still kind of nude, but just a little darker. Has more of a mauve kind of feel to it. It goes on really well also. And, you know, of course, it's time for some more dumb model faces right here. I need someone to teach me how to correctly do this. I see it in pictures, and it always looks so much better than what I do. So then we have that darkest color I told y'all earlier. That is Naples. Now, this is um, it's almost got like a berry, but still kind of like a brown feel to it. Like, it's just a really unique color. Definitely a good one for the collection. Um, you may need, like, a second layer with this, possibly. But for me, it went on really easily. Not too much patchiness or anything. And these lip colors do stay on all day. Like, Lap Glam did not play with this formula. So that's it for today's video, and I hope y'all enjoyed. Bye!